Hi and welcome to class. In today's class, we're going to do a more traditional flow of sun salutations. Let's begin with a seated meditation. Close your eyes and draw your awareness inward. Start by sensing the contact with your body in the floor. Let what's in contact with the ground root down so that the body can rise up and grow tall and expand and open up. You can start to let go of some of the tension you're holding in your neck, jaw, shoulders, up and down your spine. Now bring your palms together. If you'd like, you could join me chanting Om one time. You could just listen. Oh. Lower your head towards your heart. Release your hands from prayer position back down to your thighs. Lift the head and open the eyes. Now come onto your hands and your knees. Stretch into your first child's pose. Child's pose like the birth of the practice. So starting from this curled up fetal position let yourself fully exhale. From the fully exhaled position, allow the ribs and the lungs to expand. Then come up onto your hands and your knees and scoot the knees back a little bit so you can stretch back into an extended child where you feel a stretch as you reach back to your hips. And then as you inhale, come up onto your hands and your knees and start to bring your hips forward towards your wrist. If it feels like you're too close, you can scoot the knees back more or too far, scoot the knees. You get the idea. Stretch the hips back again. Inhale, come back up into the up position. Engage the glutes, engage the back muscles, roll your chest open. And as you exhale, stretch back. Inhale, come up. Two more rounds. If you wanna go through the full up dog, down dog, you can. Inhale to the Extension position, engage glutes, feel back muscles engaged, open up the front. And exhale, stretch back. Last one will hold. And as you hold, smooth, steady breathing. and stretch back into downward facing dog. And then to wake up our abdominals, let's come to lie onto the back so we can get some Good core work. Hug your knees into your chest and feel your lower back flat on the ground for this exercise. Crunch up to your knees and stretch your left leg forward, keeping your lower back down, both arms forward. Now see if you can take your right arm back, keeping the lower back down 
and your right ribs plug down to your left front pocket. See how far you can stretch the arm and the leg away from each other without losing the lower back pressing down into the mat and the right ribs hugging towards the left front pocket. We're going to hold this first round just isometrically. So just holding still. And then let's change sides. Come into the tuck position. Do just the right leg, keeping the lower back. Then the left arm, keeping the ribs plugged down. See how far you can reach as you hold for 10 more seconds. Lengthen through your neck. Reach your tailbone out of your lower back. You're lengthening your spine as you hold the lower back down. Then hug both knees into your chest. Lower your head, bring the knees to the armpits. Hug the knees to the chest again. Crunch up. This time we're going to do it more active. So reach your left leg forward and your right arm back at the same time. Keep all that work you just practiced and then change sides. And we'll alternate, controlling the movement now for 30 seconds. Hold at the end range for a second before you change sides. Make sure you keep the work that we have practiced, lower back, rib plugged. So as the arm reaches back, think of the ribs creating some resistance pulling down the other way. Last 10 seconds. See if you can reach further and further with the arm and the leg. Then hug your knees in, knees to armpits. Roll yourself up to seated. Balance on your sit bones for a second. Roll yourself back. Roll yourself up. If rolling's too gnarly on your spine, then you can just practice balancing here. Otherwise, one more roll. All right. Take downward facing dog now. So just feel all the heat that you built in the body, how strong and energized you feel. Ready for some sun salutations perhaps, and ready for some standing poses now. And then look between your hands, step, walk, or hop to the top of your mat. And as you inhale, get length through your spine, maybe even hands to shins or hands to knees, so you can get flat back. And as you exhale, fold forward. Reach down through your feet and spread your arms out to the side like a reverse swan dive. Come up to stand, reach arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, bring hands to your heart. Close your eyes, reconnect to your breath. Release your arms to your sides, open the eyes, and inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, get length. Exhale, step back and lower. Chaturanga. Lie down onto your belly and inhale into cobra pose. Lower your chest back down. Press up into plank. Stretch back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step, walk, or hop to the top. And as you inhale, elongate. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, 
step back and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, raise your right leg up behind you. And as you exhale, shift to plank, pull your knee up to your chest, push the floor away now, round your back. Step your foot up by your thumb, lower your back knee down, and inhale, come up. Allow some time for the front of your left hip to start to open as your left buttock engages and raise your left arm. Raise your right arm too. As you exhale, pull the arms into cactus, pull back and down, expand and open up your collarbones. Inhale, reach back up. Bring your fingertips down to the ground. Lift your back knee up, back toes under. As you press down through your right heel and feel your right glute turn on, inhale, come up, both arms up. Place hands back down onto the mat and step back, plank position. Lift your right leg up an inch, keeping your plank. Change, lift the left leg up an inch. If the plank's already hard enough, you don't have to do that. Both legs down, stretch back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Exhale, shift the plank, pull your knee up, push the floor away. Spread your shoulder blades, tuck your tail under. Step your foot up by your thumb, then lower your back knee down to the ground. Bring your hands to your left knee and slowly start to upright yourself. Let the front of the hip open. Let the right buttock flesh start to move in and down as you raise the right arm. Raise the left arm too. As you exhale, pull the elbows back and down. Feel your back muscles turn on, your chest open. Inhale the arms back up. Then bring the fingertips down, lift your back knee. Press the left heel, feel the left glute. Inhale, come up. Roll your triceps forward. Engage the triceps, lift your elbows up. Arms straight and strong. Bring your hands down and step back. Plank position, hold a normal plank, or with your feet shoulder distance apart, lean into your left hand, and bring your right hand to your chest. Push the ground away. Change, left hand to your chest. Try not to twist open. Keep the waist level to the floor. Both hands down. Stretch back into the wide-legged downward facing dog, and bring your feet just an inch or two closer. As you press down through your left hand, bring your right hand to your left ankle. Change, right hand down, left hand to your right ankle. With both hands down, look forward now, step or float up. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, fold. Sit back, Utkatasana, chair pose. Stand, Samasiddhi. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float back. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Same exhalation, step your right foot. Warrior one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Keep exhaling as you step your left foot. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. If you find it difficult to breathe and match that pattern that we're, as we're moving through the flow, you feel like you have to, have to take extra breaths, that's just a sign that there's some opportunity to focus on practicing pranayama, or maybe that the poses are still too hard. So you might need to focus on getting more comfortable with the poses so that you can flow through it and breathe slowly and calmly. Return to calm breathing again. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump up to the top. And as you inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair. Exhale, samastiti. One more sun salutation B. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, warrior one, exhale, chattering, inhale, exhale, dog. Same exhale, warrior one. Inhale to come up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, traditionally, the sun salutations were done until you start to break a sweat. Feel like I got a little sweat going? Hope you do too. If not, wear some socks next time you practice it or something like that. Okay, show from downward facing dog. Look forward, step or jump up. And as you inhale, get length. Exhale, fold, take the length in. Let your head drop. Sit into chair pose. Stand, samastiti. Now separate your feet, hip socket distance apart. As you inhale, roll your chest, shoulders open, gauge your glutes. And as you exhale, fold forward. Hook your big toes as best you can. As you inhale, elongate. Exhale, bend your elbows and fold. Five breaths. See if you can count five seconds in and five seconds out. Then inhale into a flat back, hands to your hips, press into your feet with strong legs, come up. Now turn to your side and take your legs wide apart. Spread your arms out. Let's turn the legs to the right for triangle pose. Left leg turns in slightly, right leg turns out. Inhale to expand. And exhale, reach out over your straight right leg, Udhita Trikonasana.
reach down through your feet and inhale, come back up. Turn your legs to the other side. Exhale to reach out over your left leg. Pull with your top arm and come back up. Side angle pose. Turn your legs and bend your right knee. Then place your forearm onto your thigh or hand onto the outside of the foot on the floor as you take your left arm over. Press into your feet and inhale, come back up. Turn your legs to the other side. Bend the left knee. And as you exhale, reach and take your arm over. Press into your feet and inhale, come back up. Now let's do the twisted version of that pose. So turn your right leg all the way out, spin up onto your back toes, back heel up. Bend the right knee and hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, hands to prayer. Press down into your feet and inhale, come up and around for the other side. Spin up onto your back toes, bend your left knee as you exhale, hook your elbow, hands to prayer. Press down into your feet and inhale, come back up. Step up to the top of your mat, mountain pose. Find the exhalation again, find your center, be balanced on your feet. As you inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Then practice the setup for crow pose. First, practice coming into a deep squat, malasa. Arms on the insides of your knees. See if you can internally rotate, slide the hands behind the heels. Hold here for five breaths, practicing your deep squat. Or if it's easy to be in a deep squat, then you could try to take the pose up to balance. Plant the hands. You could practice rocking back and forth a few times if you don't already have a crow pose, or if you know you have a crow pose, you can go right into it, go for it. Today I'm just gonna show the rocking for people who might struggle with trying to find a balance point. 
And of course, the deeper you get into this shape, the easier it will be to balance the crow. First, you have to have a crow if you want to balance a crow. And for the purist, of course, I know the name is Crane. However, Crow is the pose name most people associate with this shape. So, all right, release that and make your way back into downward facing dog now. From down dog, roll into the outside edge of your right foot and take your left arm up, side plank. If this feels too gnarly on your shoulder or wrist or something, just drop a knee down. Good, then come back, downward facing dog. Change sides. And stretch back, downward facing dog. Set knees down, set elbows down too. You can practice at this point going into headstand, handstand, or forearm balance. Otherwise, we'll come into down dog on the forearms. this feels real easy, try taking one leg up at Kapata. Reach down through the forearms evenly and don't sink into your shoulders. Press the ground away. Like I have my knee in your upper back, lift up. And change legs. Lower that leg and walk back into plank on your forearms. If you're inverting, you can take a break now. Otherwise, hold here and plank on the forearms. Last 10 seconds, if you want to challenge yourself more, lift one leg up for five seconds. Keep your core squeezed up. Change legs. Then set both feet down and come into Sphinx. Relax. Find your breath again. Turn your palms up and as you externally rotate, press out with the thumb side of the hand. Feels good. Okay. Lift back up and walk in the dog on the forearms. And then come up into down dog on your hands. Walk hands back to feet.
fold at the back of your mat. This time as you fold forward, maybe you could slide your hands underneath your feet. You may have to bend your knees a lot to do it. See if you can get the toes all the way to the creases of the wrists. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for class today. If you'd like to finish with a five minute guided Shavasana, then you can click this link over here. If you'd like to finish with a five minute silent Shavasana, you can click this link here. Shavasana is the most important part of your practice. So I recommend that you finish with that. I'll see you next time.